Chapo Guzman's the most dangerous criminal in the world. He's Mexico's top drug lord. His cartel apparently responsible for 90% of cocaine on Chicago's streets. Forbes magazine lists him as more powerful than the French president. And now the man known as El Chapo, or Shorty, Joaquin Guzman, is back on the run. Last seen in the showers of Altiplano prison on Saturday night, and then lost by security camera surveillance, El Chapo used an elaborate mile-long tunnel to break free. 18 prison guards are now being questioned, and the manhunt is underway. But it's not the first time Mexican authorities have been apparently asleep on the job. Because this is Chapo Guzman's second escape from a high-security prison. First jailed in 1993, eight years later, he reportedly broke free using a laundry basket with the help of prison guards. Last year, Channel 4 News' Latin American correspondent made a film about El Chapo. He spoke to one lawyer who met the drug lord in prison before he escaped. Yo, en ese momento, fue que quien mandaba en ese lugar era El Chapo Guzmán. Era el dueño del penal. Sentía yo miedo. And this is how those who work for him, smuggling drugs, describe Chapo Guzman. Le dicen, oh, mi señor, por eso le dicen, mi señor, tiene una visión de la vida, tiene una visión de lo que, lo que pasa, de lo que sucede. Hey, ¡Cámara! ¡Cámara! But despite his legendary status, in a triumph for Mexican authorities, El Chapo was recaptured in February last year. He's wanted by the Americans, but the Mexican Attorney General said keeping Guzman in the country was a question of national sovereignty. 16 months on, and he's absconded again. Leaving authorities rather red-faced as they explain the sophistication of the escape tunnel. El túnel cuenta con tubería. The tunnel is equipped with plastic pipes, presumably for ventilation as well as lighting, and a motorcycle mounted on tracks, used as a traction mechanism, probably to extract the dirt from the excavation, and also to move tools and machinery for drilling. Now he's out, El Chapo could be back in control of the Sinaloa cartel.